Then we're going to look at some, an actual, and I'm going to quickly go through this because this is just an example of a session plan that you're going to fill out for your qualification. So the warm up here for Jane Doe is the elliptical walker. So that, why have I chosen that? It gets all the muscles going. It's five minutes. We're going at 60% maximum heart rate and it's between 11 to 12 in the rate of perceived exertion. And I'm going to do a talk test with this individual. I'm going to chat to them and I'm going to move round about them all the time to observe how they actually do it. It's going to be continuous style training and I'm going to instruct the client to stop any activity um, when they feel warmed up, but also if they don't feel well during it, it's good to get that relationship. We're going to make sure it's rhythmic motions and they face forward and they're comfortable doing it. Then we're going to move, once they are warmed up, into the warm-up flexibility. And it's dynamic stretches are the best for, for a workout session prior. So the warm-up stretches. And this is arm swings I've got up here. We're going to increase that range of motion with every repetition. We're going to make sure there's no bouncing with any of these exercises. And we do want to keep the tension down here. So it is to gradually increase the range of motion. It's not to get a workout to get the mind working. As well, when you do stretches, they've got to relate to the exercises you're going to do. Next one here, we've got the main resistance session and I've broke this up here. So the first one we've got is circuits. It's push up. We've got close get row. We've got shoulder press, kettlebells, and we've got a wood chop. I've actually here you'll see we've got the equipment is the exercise mats, we've got resistance band, we've got kettlebells, everything's laid out ready for it. And um, we're going to do each one straight after the other. It's going to be three sets, eight, eight repetitions, 60 second rest once all four have been completed. The main one here is supersets, so that's overhead I'm going to use for part of the workout and that's working the triceps with tricep extension. It can be done with bands, is what I've got here, but it could also be done with cables and a bicep curl to go this way. The CV, we're going to work the treadmill, we get intervals and the time here is 20 minutes. So what you see I've done is I have got the intensity here at one minute. We start between 12 and 13. The um, rate of perceived exertion that is 50 seconds between 12 to 13 rate of perceived exertion so they're working somewhat hard 10 minutes sorry 10 seconds 10 minutes 10 seconds at 15 to 16 rate of perceived perce uh, perception and exertion sorry and hard to very hard so we get 50 seconds then we get 10 seconds up then we go back down again and for the last one I want to bring that pulse right the way down and we do one minute at the end there to very, very lightly. Now something I haven't put up, uh, it's not my slides, but for this program, I also put in for the resistance part, the legs, which is very important. And I generally put the legs in at the start, you can put it in other places. Or if it's a split routine, the lower body is going to be in another day. Now, just to go through that very briefly for the activity that I chose for this client, which I haven't got up, is going to be squats, a goblet squats, we hold the weight here and we're going to do remaining deadlifts so it's a superset we're working at 75 percent of the one rep max with the legs we're going to do three sets we're going to do about six to ten eight repetitions and we're going to have about a 60 seconds rest period it's very important to work the legs now the cool down it's very important to cool people down if the client is very conditioned, they might not feel like cooling down. We will still recommend the cool down. It's going to be very essential for new clients to cool down and bring the heart rate down. So somebody's deconditioned, it's essential. So I'm going to use an indoor bike here. You can use any piece of equipment that's relevant. And it's good to see since we're using the bike, it's going to cool down the lower body, but it's also going to get the heart rate down. So you could get them to gently move on the bike as well. If you notice something that is 60% and it moves right down, sorry, 70% and I'm moving it down to 60% throughout this cool down. And then we go to the cool down. 
which is static stretches for cooldown here. And we've got static chest stretch, 30 seconds per stretch for one set. Stretch, you can increase that to two, three times they could do it. And stretch the mild uh, to the point of mild tension or slight discomfort. And watch out for overstretching. Some individuals will let you overstretch them. So it's very important to talk to them and find out exactly how they're feeling. Get them to encourage them to actually give you a stop when they've actually reached there. Especially when you're talking to them because we don't want to get distracted here.